Hello everyone, Manuel the Market Johnny from Isomers Laboratories. Welcome to our channel. This is a channel where we talk about the science of skin care from a cosmetic chemist and a manufacturing perspective, something that we've been doing for over 30 years here at Isomers Laboratories. Today we're going to talk about how to avoid or prevent or lessen premature aging. This is always like a question where people talk about pro-aging, anti-aging, premature aging. What is, what is it that we're talking about? Well, premature aging basically is your skin or you look older than you want to look or should look for the time that you've been here. So it's kind of an element where we're talking about the chronology. You know, if you're 20 years old, you don't want to look 40. You know, if you're 50 years old, you don't want to look 75. So you want to look age appropriate. So premature aging has a lot to do with genetics, with lifestyle habits, and the environment. So there is a lot of things that you can actually do for yourself to help fight premature aging or ward off premature aging, or better way of saying it is to age gracefully. I always urge people, you know, from the, I know we deal with the science part, but I try to break things down and make things very practical, right? So I always say, think of your skin like fabric. Think of it, you just went out and bought a brand new white t-shirt. Okay, brand new white t-shirt. It looks amazing, right? It's all even color, the weave is all really great, the shape is all there. That's our skin, that's our ideal skin. And what happens with, when you're rough with it, when you stain it, when you're not taking care of it, when, when it gets, you know, um, abused or, or used, it starts to change, the color changes, the, the weave changes, it starts to wrinkle, it starts to get misshapen, you spill something on it, it stains, even though you try to, you know, maybe even bleach it out or wash it out, you can still see faint marks. So all of this is like a parallel. So think about, think about that as a parallel and keep that foremost in your mind when you're thinking about how to work with your skin and to fight the visible signs of premature aging. So first of all, product-wise, I think it's very important that we actually talk about uh, sun, the sun and sunscreen. Sunscreen is very important because sunscreen will help protect your skin against the ultraviolet rays. And ultraviolet rays actually uh, chew up or eat up your collagen. So basically, you, you think about the ultraviolet rays like a pair of scissors cutting up your T-shirt. Right, it's cutting up the collagen bonds, and so do and so do free radicals. Oxidative stress does the same thing; cuts out away at those uh, at the fabric of your skin, which is the collagen. So you want to be able to use antioxidants, and you want to be able to use sunscreen because those are two things that are going to actually block and protect your skin. Another thing is, it also helps with the color of your skin. When you're using an antioxidant, when you're using sunscreen, your pigmentation, your melanin is not being compromised or activated, forced to work harder. Therefore, the color stays more even and much more uniform. So product-wise, that's really good. Another thing to do is to use retinoids. Retinoids are vitamin A acids. They're very good, use them at nighttime. They're very good because they mend the skin. Okay, so when you think about your t-shirt, so you have a hole in it and you need to get some invisible mending done, that's what the retinoid is going to do. How does it do it? It helps to create more collagen. It's helping to create more collagen strands, more of the string in there, in, the, in your collagen. So if you have damage, it's helping to repair that damage by building new elements of skin. Now this takes time, this doesn't happen overnight, but this is part of the routine. This is something that you can actually utilize to soften or lessen the visible signs of premature aging. Retinoids, antioxidants, sunscreens. Another thing is with, uh, with your habits. So habits of cleansing your skin twice a day. So don't over exfoliate, don't over cleanse, don't overwash your skin. Don't do anything that's going to break down the skin barrier function or the skin barrier or, or increase inflammation because any kind of stress also will have you looking older or having your skin much more compromised. 
Other habits to think of is alcohol intake, you know, the sins out there. Too much salt or a diet that is a dirty diet, a diet that has relies on a lot of fast food, a lot of processed food, things that are not in season, things that aren't fresh, things that are, you know, not very, very natural. That is really going to affect the quality of your skin and the age of your skin. And this is because your skin, I mean, you literally are what you eat, right? So what you're eating is your medicine, literally. It's the foundational elements of what's building your skin. And that's going to show. So that, if you have a very poor diet, um, if you smoke, if you drink a lot of alcohol, those are drying and damaging elements, bring in more free radicals, bring in other, um, elements in there that really oxidize the skin faster and that also leads to premature aging. Um, another thing is, so you have your eating, not eating enough fresh leafy vegetables or fruit. That's also very important. So to really have a diet that's rich in fresh, in season, multicolored food. This is really good because it's gonna, again, help with the collagen, help with the elastin, with the reticulin. It's gonna give you micronutrients and phytonutrients and all of these other elements go into building a healthier foundation, which then goes and builds more youthful looking skin, okay? And this is really important too because a lot of the polyphenols, a lot of the antioxidants within the food help protect on two fronts. So if you're using topicals and you're also using nutrition, that's gonna help fight premature aging. Another thing that's really good uh, for fighting premature aging is regular exercise. So you've got your diet part, you have your products part, now you have your body, move your body, you want to exercise. So rebounding is really good to pump the lymphatic system, get some regular exercise in, go for walks, because again, you wanna boost that circulation, you wanna pump that lymphatic system. That's really gonna help with more youthful and better repair mechanism for the body, more flexibility. All of this is connective tissue. And if you keep your connective tissue in good shape, that's also going to reflect with younger, stronger looking skin. Habits are very important. So these things that seem very small, over time become, you know, chronic. So repeated facial movements, if you always have a certain expression that you're doing, that's going to embed itself over time. So try to stay calm, try to stay relaxed, get massages. That's really actually really good for you to fight premature aging is massage because that's passive exercise. It helps move uh, lymph, but it also helps to connect and move also fluid. And that's gonna really help with the building blocks of your, of your skin as well. So there are a lot of things you could do. Another thing that I would, I would recommend is if you must tan, do a fake tan, do a self tanner, don't be in the sun, don't be in a tanning bed, don't try to introduce some kind of light source that uh, because of those light waves actually break down that collagen or oxidize the skin or speed up the aging process. And another good thing, another good habit is rest. Rest is really important. I also believe that intermittent fasting is really important as well. So try to go at minimum 12 hours a day between, uh, you know, 12, hour, 12 hours a day at break. That's one of the secrets for anti-aging and for longevity. There's a lot of studies talking about that right now. So if you think about a window of opportunity to make it easy, I find this to be very easy for myself, is if I think about I can only eat between the hours of noon and 8 p.m. and I can't any other time. And outside of that, all it is is water or herbal tea. That's really giving myself a, that's a 16 hour um, fast. A simpler one could be from an 8 p.m. to an 8 a.m. That's a 12 hour fast. Try to do that as much as possible. Try to do that two to three times a week. You will start to see your skin does get clearer. Your mind gets clearer. The body works a little bit better because there's a lot of inflammation goes away. And as that inflammation is being addressed, it will reflect in the quality of your skin, the quality of your sleep, um, and, and you won't, you know, that fights that premature aging. Hope you enjoyed our conversation about how to fight, ward off that premature aging. And I hope you, you know, 
do a little bit of your own research and, and see which of these tips and tricks work for you. I've tried every and all of them and I do believe that a little bit of moderation every day, a couple of these good habits every single day really pays off with years and years off your physical appearance uh, over time and the quality of your skin. So even though you may start and you think, you know, my skin is really damaged now or I'm looking really ragged or tired or stressed out and that's it. You don't have to fall off that roller coaster. You don't have to spiral. That's not a rabbit hole we want to go down. We can start right now and it's just, you know, a little bit better water quality, change your diet a little bit, use the right products. Just be mindful of these habits and try the intermittent fasting. I think it's really, um, it does so much good um, in everything, in everything for us. Anyways, I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed our conversation on fighting the visible signs of aging.